Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to another Valley Forged. Uh, today is a pretty big day in lasers, and I figured a channel about lasers would be uh, remiss to not even mention this. So Xtool has just announced a 40-watt diode. Now, <laughs> it wasn't even a year ago. Pretty much everything was 5.5 watts. And now we're looking at already 40 watts. Now, how far is this going to go? How many of these 5.5 watt diode lasers can you stick together and create more and more powerful? Now, this isn't actually out yet. It is pre-order. Uh, so how good is it really going to be? It looks like it's pretty damn good at cutting but probably not that great at engraving. The, the more of these things that you stick together, uh, the dot size is going to get wider. So this is something to think about. Uh, will it replace CO2? I don't think so. I think acrylic is still not happening, uh, even with this increased power. So although it, it is very important and it is something we should pay attention to, uh, I don't think you're getting a CO2 and, you know, once we put everything together and we say, hey, you know, you got to get the Pro uh, 10 watt and then put this on it, you're still looking at probably $1,700. And so you really got to measure that up against what you're going to get for a CO2. So uh, let's um, check out what they have to say about this. I picked uh, a bunch of little clips and put it together so that you can kind of get the gist of what's going on. And speaking of CO2, wait to the end of this and see what they have to announce about that as well. So check this out. While the digital world is allowing more people to connect, it's also making our once close connections more fragile. We hope to inspire people to return to the real world more instead of spending hours waiting for likes on social media Let's DIY together. Let's create something real again and share real joy in surprises with each other and the world. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome to X2 YouTube Live. This is Twiggy. This is Jason, founder and CEO of X2. So first of all, we will have the world's first, first. D1 Pro 40 watts laser module. Yeah, it's yeah. the world's most powerful diode laser module. So, um, yeah. yeah. Uh, inside of this module, because uh, uh, we have actually we have eight mm -hmm. five point five laser uh, diode laser, uh, the laser inside diode, yes. this module. Mm -hmm. uh, so here you can see this is the module. This is the forty watt laser module. It's bigger and uh, heavier, and the things is bigger and heavier. So we need one more thing. So we need. Uh, the uh, so this is the X real to update your machine. So if you have a D1 Pro on your hand, actually you can update your machine uh, from 20 watt to uh, uh, 40 watt, watt. Yes. or oh, it's 10 watt, it's okay. But you... Are you nervous? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nervous. I have a trust with the uh, our new module. Mm -hmm. ah! Yes, actually it has been cut no, through. It's a joke, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's a very clean cut. It's a very clean cut. Like we, we didn't actually break it, okay? It's a very clean cut. Yeah, As you can see, cut. we also have done some other tests on here uh, that we actually yeah. cut through the um, 18 millimeters, you know, the cherry wood. Yeah, it's also so one more thing today we are going to uh, tell you is that actually we are going to launch our new CO2 laser in the near future. Yes. What's the uh, name for it? P2. P2, yes. yes the x 2 P2 actually is a new CO2 <laughs> laser with a 55 watt uh, CO2 laser and uh, and a lot, of, a lot of other new features that uh, you will not see from other brands. Yes. You know, x is always an innovative brand. So what, a, what because P2, we spend a lot of time to develop the, yes. the things um, uh -huh. more than uh, at nearly two years. Wow, yeah. I didn't so know that. So we have a lot of new features in yeah. this machine. All right, so as you can see, it can cut through pretty uh, thick hardwood. Um, and that's what I would expect from it, a 40 watt. Now, when you think 40 watt, oh, this is the same as a 40 watt CO2, like a K40. I have happen to have that. You know I have that. Um, 
It is actually more powerful in many ways than your K40, at least as far as I can tell. Because with one of those K40s, you're really not supposed to run it above about 60%. And that that has to do with the milliamps or whatever. So it is possible to run higher than that. But generally, it runs around 60 or 70% power if you want to keep that uh, tube to last for a long time. So in my opinion, at this point, this is actually more powerful than a K40. And uh, it is also quite a bit more expensive. But the thing is, you will get a larger area. You can put... As far as I can tell, you can put the extension on this and uh, you're going to have a pretty decent size cutting area. And as I said before, all they did was take a bunch of 5.5 watt diodes and they stuck them together. Um, so actually you're getting above 40 watts as they also mentioned in the, in the video and you technically could probably run this at 90 or 100% power for quite a while, and it should be fine. It's not the same as a CO2 where you really have to limit the amount. It's really the heat that you have to worry about here. Um, so as long as it's running at a decent temperature, you're probably fine. They also mention that you probably want to switch back to the 5.5 watt if you're going to be doing engraving. So... I'm guessing if it was me, I would get the 10 watt pro uh, and use the 10 watt for engraving and the um, 40 watt for your cutting. I do a lot more cutting than engraving myself. Uh, or you could just use your other laser like my Laser Master 3. So this brings the question uh, Am I sad that I bought a Laser Master 3? 10 watt, even if I'm waiting for the 20 watt to come out at some point, you probably saw in my last video that I mentioned there is a Comgro 20 watt that will fit onto the Laser Master 3. Uh, and so that will up your power. So am I sad that I didn't just go with X tool to begin with? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I am. Uh, from everything that I've heard about from X tool users, they do seem to prefer their machines over what I'm seeing for the Ortur Laser Master 3 or Ortur in general. Now, Ortur, it seemed like had the more consistent machines earlier. They certainly have really good customer service. I've been very happy with their customer service. The thing is, is you don't want to have to use the customer service. Whereas I think Xtool, the customer service isn't quite as good, but the machines are a little more consistent. And uh, actually, I'd kind of rather have a consistent machine uh, than having to, you know, have downtime uh, quite a bit. So it is give and take. I kind of stayed away from Xtool, first of all, because I'm a contrarian a bit. You know, I saw that Xtool was uh, average. I couldn't even look at uh, anything on YouTube laser related without an X tool commercial coming at me and, uh, it kind of turned me off a little bit and, uh, I tend to stay away from things like that, but, uh, you know, eight, six months, eight months later after looking at it, um, I'm starting to think X tool probably would be the better way to go. You out there with an X tool, uh, what do you think? I see some people are a little upset that they just bought, say, a 20 watt and all of a sudden they come out with this 40 watt. Well, it doesn't make your 20 watt not good. You know, I mean, 20, the 20 watt, that's, that's pretty good. And you could do a lot of things with that. And, you know, the option of getting the 40 watt, and probably this will become cheaper at some point. I imagine it'll get more expensive and then it will uh, slowly become cheaper again. Um, and who knows, you know, or tour may come out or some other Comgro or one of these other manufacturers, Atezer, may come out with a uh, 45 or, you know, 60 or whatever. We don't, we have no idea where this is going. So it is an interesting time to be a laser channel. Just so many interesting things happening. So I'm looking forward to being able to test this at some point. Uh, I will probably pick up a an X tool at some point and you know start to um, review that now that I think that they kind of are the cutting edge. 
Also, I'm very much looking forward to testing their CO2 offering, and that should be interesting coming out in a couple of months. And they're acting like they're they're bringing something new to the table there, so that'll be interesting. Um, yeah, this this channel is about lasers, and if you want to know anything about lasers, I want to know. So I'm starting to get into looking at the Thunder Laser and the Boss, and kind of deciding which you know 130 to 150 watt laser that I'm looking at getting. But will all that's happening this year change my mind? Because I'm moving to a bigger place, you know say in six, eight months, and I will, I can't make a decision till then. So interesting time, as I said, so uh, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And uh, let me know what you think, or uh, what are your questions these days? You know, there's so much going on. What is the common things that, that people are just like, oh, okay, well, what about this? And uh, I would certainly like to know so that I can help answer that. All right. I will see you in the next one. Bye.